Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi left from New Delhi to Russia to attend the 16th BRICS summit in Kazan. Now, in a statement before leaving for Kazan, Prime Minister Modi said that India values the close cooperation within BRICS, which has emerged as an important platform for dialogue and discussion on issues. He added that the expansion of BRICS with the addition of new members last year has added to its inclusivity and agenda for the global good. The summit this year is themed strengthening multilateralism for just global development and, sec and security. This year's summit will see participation from BRICS founding members, nations like Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa, alongside new members, which includes Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran and the UAE. Leaders are expected to discuss ongoing collaborations and strategies for future projects that promote development and security. Amidst the rising global tensions, all eyes will be on a potential meeting between Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Chinese President Xi Jinping. Modi will also meet the Russian President Putin on the sidelines of BRICS summit. India's Ministry of External Affairs on Monday said that some of the key agendas of the meet include expansion of economic cooperation, trade settlement in national currencies, sustainable development, particularly the mission to address the problems of climate change. Now, as per the Ministry of External Affairs, MEA, India and China has, have also negotiated a patrolling deal along the line of actual control after four long years of discussions. Meanwhile, Russia has released 85 Indian nationals from its military camp ahead of the summit. All right, for more on this, Beyond's assistant editor for foreign affairs, Dan Sibyl, sent us this report from Gaza. We can talk about the Indian students. How large is the Indian community, uh, the student community here in Russia and perhaps in uh, Kazan as well? Yes, sir. Uh, nearly in Kazan, we have two universities mainly, uh, Kazan State and Kazan Federal. So altogether, we have nearly 600 to 800 Indian students studying here. And um, it is a great privilege to have a prime minister here where the Indian students are in large numbers and there are many, uh, nearly 18 to 20 years it's been the people from India studying here and passed out and even we are in the last year and uh, getting an opportunity like this in the last year to work and work with something big like BRICS, mm -hmm. it's an honor to us. Mm -hmm. uh Last time the Prime Minister came uh, on a bilateral visit in August, he announced opening of a consulate in Kazan. Uh, I do not know really when the consulate will open because there is a procedure regarding it. But how do you see a opening of consulate helping uh, the students? Sir, actually, if see if we see from till like past five years, we are staying here in Russia. Like many have, many of the students have got problems with their passport and visa and these things. If there is a consultate like going to open here in Kazan, it will be really for students. It will be a great helpful because they no need to travel to Moscow because like Kazan, it's almost 800 or 900 kilometers from uh, Kazan. Like Moscow is from Kazan, so it will be a great opportunity and it will be a great helpful for the students. Not only for the students but also for the exporters and importers for improving their trade and. Of course, uh, like this in this meeting about these also, we have got information. More things are going to be spoken about it. So we are really happy about the opening of consulted here in Kazan.